Hey everybody, Andre Fernandez here for the Miami Herald at High School Football Media Day at Nova Southeastern University. I'm here with, he's not going to like me for saying this, the legendary Rich Stewart. Coach, um, in all seriousness though, you are approaching a pretty nice milestone this year. I know you don't get too caught up in all the coaching records and that kind of thing, but you know, you've been with this program for a long time. You've been the coach at Belen. What does it mean to you to see, you know, that long-term success? I know you measure it more in scholarships and kids you've seen go on to the next level, that kind of thing. But is it? Are you are you kind of like cherishing that a little bit? That that you know, when it does happen? Oh, absolutely. You know, just just the uh, being there all those years, seeing how we've grown from you know back then we were a two A school uh, to to where now we're an eight A school. So just just that whole progression of growth uh, was was a tremendous ride, and really enjoyed that and. Uh, you know, I know I'm fortunate enough to maybe have a record coming up, but uh, you know, a lot of people make that happen. You know, my assistants, great assistant coaching staff, and, and great administration. You know, all the individual accolades I get, it's you know, they're big, 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 huge part of that. And uh, you know, I'm, I get the name credit, but trust me, they're they're the backbone. <laughs> The, kid, the kids are planning something for you, but I was, I was sworn to secrecy to say, and I'll tell you what. No, I'm just kidding. I have no idea. But we'll see. We'll see. It, it'll be something yeah, special yeah. for you. But, uh, Probably a shower. In the who pool. knows? <laughs> but um, tell, tell us about this team, though, because this year you've got a pretty good squad coming back. I mean, you had a good season last year with a district title, second round of the playoffs. And how, how much of a, of, a, of a welcome sight is it that coming off a successful year like that, you're bringing back a lot of the key pieces from that team? Right, absolutely. This uh, this team is senior heavy, especially on defense. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of kids have a lot of experience. Uh, two years ago, you know, we had a little up and down season. Um, you know, they were babies on that squad. So now they now they're the veterans, and they uh, I think they're really really excited. We are, we as coaches are excited too to see how they uh, they accept this challenge of repeating as district champions and defending. I'm sorry, defending our district championship and uh, and hopefully going a little deeper in the playoffs. Yeah. Your um, your defense is very experienced. Eight starters back. Um, if you can quickly just you know give us a rundown on those guys. Yeah, that's uh, definitely where we're strong right now. Um, you know, eight, eight returning starters. Uh, our secondary, um, all our safeties are back. Uh, our two line, three linebackers are back, um, and three defensive linemen. So you know, a lot of experience there. Uh, you know, Joe Garcia, uh, uh, Giovanni Menocal, our linebackers. You know, I, I put them up against anybody in town. They are they are solid. You know they're gonna be really good, good players for us, and uh, you know they should should play at the next level somewhere. You know. Offensive side of the ball, um, you have some key guys. You have a couple guys that even uh, that are coming back off injuries that are gonna help you out. Um, again, if you can give us a little quick rundown on those guys. Right, our offense. Uh, we only have three returning starters, but uh, you know very good. Uh, Mar you know, Mario Rubina at, at wing back, a three-year starter. Uh, Pablo uh, Pablo Venegas, our center, also a three-year starter. Then we have uh, Giancarlo, Giancarlo Pinto coming back. Uh, you know, he's going to be a big asset for us. You know, as a sophomore, he did some really, really good things. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, didn't get to play last year towards ACL, ironically, playing baseball. He's a three, you know, he's a rare three-sport athlete. At, at, you know, at this time, he plays football, basketball, and baseball. And uh, the sport you would least likely think he'd tear an ACL, <laughs> it happened. Uh, and, uh, but, you know, he's, he's chomping at the bit, and I expect, you know, great things. And then our offensive line, our four new guys, we're very pleased with how they're progressing. And um, you know, I'm not going to give out their names yet. I think they have to earn it, but uh, they, they should do some good things. I would ask you about special teams, but you're always good at special teams for the most part. I mean, is it, is it yeah. a strength again this season like it usually is? We have been so blessed kickers-wise uh, the last few years. Our kicker now, Tavish Rice, um, he's uh, got a scholarship, well, not a scholarship, but he got admitted to Princeton already. He's going to be, you know, Princeton already accepted him, and he's going to be the kicker for them. He's automatic into the end zone. We also have another guy, our punter, uh, Fernando Puljaz, uh, you know, hopefully get a, a scholarship somewhere. And, uh, and he can also kick off too. I mean, I've got a dilemma there at, at uh, field goal kickers. They're both excellent. And uh, right now we're just going to rotate them until somebody uh, steps up. But they have powerful legs. So very excited. The Columbus game got moved a little closer to midseason. Right. In the past, it was almost either like week one, maybe week two. Do you think that gives you maybe a little bit more of an edge because you get some games under your belt, the team's not as rusty because you're just, you know, breaking into a season? Do you think it'll help you guys a little bit? Well, we'll definitely have more in. Uh, so will they. Um, but uh, it'll be interesting. You know, it worked out, we, you know, this year playing it a little bit later. I think early on we both had some commitments with other schools, so um, we bumped it back to week five. Um, I, think, yeah, I think it'll help both teams. Hopefully it'll help us out a little bit. Um, and we definitely, like I said, both teams will definitely have more plays in on offense, and and 
you know, the kinks will be more out for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Your, your district changed a little bit. You have some of the familiar faces, but now Coral Reef's been added into the mix. They have a new coach with Javi Valdez there you're familiar with. Um, how much tougher does that make the district competition? And how much do you have, does it make these guys, as the reigning champions, not lose their focus knowing, okay, we're going to get tested week in, week out? Right. Well, they, our kids will not lose focus. I mean, we, we won the district last year, but, you know, we had to come back from 17 to beat Southwest. Uh, we won, we beat Braddock by a point. We had a win at the last second against Varela. We, had, we scored with like, we were losing, we scored with, uh, we hit Frank Battle, uh, like a 15 yard touchdown pass, just yeah. threw it up to him, he grabbed it, and we won that game. And then Ariel Jimenez iced it, they, he picked it off, had a pick six right on the last play of the game to make it look worse than it was, but that game was close. And then we lost to Ferguson. You know, we got him in the, in the tiebreaker, but... And that was a last second play too. Right. It was on a last second, yeah, controversial ending there. Right, I remember it caused, caused a big stir when it happened and forced the tiebreaker. Right, it forced the tiebreaker. So, I don't think our kids will be looking past anybody in our district. Uh, they know that, that uh, it's a tough district. And then Coral Reef, you know, Javi Valdez, uh, he played for me, so he knows us very well. Uh, we know him very well. And I'm very proud of what he's accomplished, by the way. Um, anyway, what he did up at Matter Academy and uh, turned that program around. I'm sure he's going to do great things. Hopefully not against us. We're going to make sure <laughs> that he has a lot of success, but hopefully not against us. Um, but yeah. wish him well. Coincidentally, you look at the slate, and if things go well for you and him, it's almost right there. It, it, it could end up being the district championship game if things go well on both sides. I mean, kind of, kind of fun makes it for you know a good battle right there at the end of the season. Right, from your lips to God's ears. Uh, yeah, it's a, yeah, it's the last, uh, last district game of the season. So yeah, if it's if it's meant to be, hopefully that'll that'll be the, for the title. <laughs> All right. Well, Rich, we appreciate you joining us as always. It's always a pleasure, and uh, we wish you guys luck during the season. And you know, definitely looking forward to seeing if you get that milestone. You know, well deserved, sir. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Thanks, Rich. Appreciate.